Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. So if you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is a fashion, beauty, lifestyle channel. So if you want to stay, then welcome. So if you are new, you've come at the right time because today's video is one of my favourites I've been planning so far. It is a Depop vintage haul. So for any of you that don't know what Depop is, it was an app created for like secondhand selling like clothes, um, accessories, shoes. So on Depop you can buy and sell. So I have my own page and I sell items and I also buy a lot of stuff. There is a wide range of vintage items on there and this is why I bought from Depop today. So I discovered Depop about two, three years ago and I've been selling there ever since. I've managed to sell quite a lot of my stuff. So I'd recommend if you have any old things you're doing a spring wardrobe at the moment then definitely go sell some items um a lot of people buy different things trust me so in today's vintage haul i've bought items like blazers jeans tops so yeah that's the chatting out of the way but firstly i just want to say thank you to everyone who supported my channel so far um i literally couldn't appreciate it more it's been really nerve-wracking for me to start this channel but i'm loving it so far and i love supporting other small youtube channels so yeah, let's get into the video. So to start off, I just want to explain that these clothes are my type of fashion. Um, obviously they are vintage, probably from like 80s, 90s. So they aren't going to be everyone's style and that's fine. Um, I just wanted to show some of my picks that I would also wear in today's day and age. So to start off, I have got this big sort of blouse um it is from Marks and Spencer's so I wasn't really expecting you know it to be from there I was maybe thinking something that's like an old brand that maybe have gone out of fashion anyway um it's just this short sleeve like floral blouse I really like it because it's actually oversized it's size 24 so it wouldn't fit me um like slim lined I was picturing this blouse with um some sort of denim so I'll pop up a obviously a video of me trying it on here and I'm thinking to tie the ends of it up like that, if that makes any sense. So getting the ends of the blouse and tying it up together so it creates like a sort of crop style. I just want to quickly explain, obviously I liked it because the colours were very, not sort of what you'd expect in the day to day, like today's sort of fashion. Um, they're sort of like peachy colours mixed with pinks, which obviously I don't know whether you'd... Does that make sense? Someone is watching me out their window. So this has got a collar like so, and they've got really nice gold buttons, which I liked as well. So I was thinking of pairing this with a white denim skirt. So imagine maybe it tied up with a denim skirt and a ripped pair of mum jeans. Okay, so the next item I bought was to go with that blouse. Um, so they're these really cool custom painted jeans. Um, They've got three buttons at the top, which I liked because I don't normally buy jeans like that because I feel like it's just a bit of a hassle to get it on. But I really liked the fact it was sort of like structured. I like a structured pair of jeans to keep you in. Um, so yeah, I really liked these. I'll just show you the back. And this is the cut on them. They're very like raw hem. But unfortunately, they don't fit me. So I won't be trying them on, but I'll be putting them on with my mum jeans instead. But yeah, I really liked these because of the custom thingies. And I didn't realise that the Depop person actually made them himself. So I was really happy with that. So that is obviously something to look out for when you're buying from Depop, the sizing. Um, I think these may be like from America, like an American sizing or something, which may have gone wrong because I did sort of follow my sizing guidelines. But unfortunately, they're just a bit tight for me. So... I will be selling them on because they are really lovely and I think somebody okay, else can. So I was on the hunt for a vintage oversized t-shirt because I really like oversized things. They make me feel so comfy and just, I just love it. It hides everything. Um, but anyway, I bought this New York, uh, what does it say on it? Just New York. Uh, anyway, just New York. Um, it's just a like a thick oversized t-shirt basically. And I was going to pair this with some cycling shorts. And I really like this because it's just plain wire, like it's nothing complicated, literally just plain. Um, the sleeves are like quite, you know, they're just, it's like an oversized t-shirt. 
I thought this was really cute for the summer because again you could wear it as a bed top if you really didn't like it or you could just scrunch it up and wear it tied up with a pair of shorts in the summer you could wear it with an oversized blazer which i have bought and i'm excited to try it on with that's how i pictured it so another thing i forgot to mention is the pricing for these items which were relatively cheap because i searched through the app and made sure i picked something that was that i liked and was quite cheap so this blouse was around 13 pounds i think it wasn't expensive at all but she left the tag on so it was brand new not been worn um i normally tend to buy things that are in perfect condition and not been worn this t-shirt was actually eight pounds which was quite cheap i mean for a t-shirt you probably find this in misguided for about 15 pounds <laughs> so yeah i really like that and again hasn't been worn but you know, if it has been and you like the item, you can again wash it. And these pair of jeans were £13, which is really, really cheap for a pair of jeans. I think anyway, because you could get a pair of jeans from, I don't know, River Island, say for £40, which obviously sometimes don't fit you in the best way. And it is a risk buying on Depop because obviously these aren't my size. It's absolutely fine. I will just resell them. If not, I can make them into something else or maybe use the material. Okay, so the next item is this amazing oversized blazer. You'd call it like a dad blazer, I think. Um, it's just like this grey material, like suede sort of thing. I've rolled the sleeves up because it was a bit long for me. But I really, really like this. I've been on the hunt for an oversized blazer for ages. And this is really like structured. So it's like a proper blazer. This is a beautiful blazer. It's got a lovely like silk lining and it's like a proper big old blazer it's got nice big pockets and i was picturing this with cycling shorts again maybe a little white tank top but yeah i really love this because it's quite big obviously oversized and i like it to fit very big and structured this blazer was on the pricier side of 34 pounds and obviously that is still very cheap for a blazer because you wouldn't find a blazer in zara for 34 pounds more like a hundred anyway um yeah it was really good it's really good quality it hasn't been worn well she says um but yeah i would trust people that obviously have been selling and had good reviews but yeah uh, overall i'm really pleased with this it's really nice and just what i was looking for so the next item i'm not too sure about but we'll see when it's on um i was on the hunt for a little vintage like tank top again like a sort of sporty anyway i'll just show you um it's this little like vest sort of thing it's quite long it's quite big um this has got a few marks on it unfortunately but again she let me pay very cheap for it it was probably about a tenner i don't really remember but yeah it's quite cute it's got these little squares on the back little shapes on the front as well i like the collars and the zip is very vintage um i just thought again you could roll this up wear it with i don't know what cycling shorts you could wear it with denim shorts you could wear it with jeans tucked in um, but yeah, we'll see this when it's on. I actually also pictured this with a white denim skirt. Imagine how cute that would look tucked in with this little headband matching the little colours on the back. I just think the little cute things, maybe with a denim jacket, I'm not sure. But we'll see what I can pair it with. And we have reached the last and final item. And I'm really happy with this. I've left it till last because I just can't wait to show you. Okay, again... I've showed my sister and she was like, I've showed other people and they're like, again, it's personal preference and I just love it. So I'm just going to show you. It's this windbreaker jacket. Um, it's not from any sort of like Nike. I know they're quite popular. Okay, I'm just going to show you. So it's got these really wavy sleeves, <laughs> like crazy vintage, um, really cute. I love it. And I know some people might be like, oh, like it's disgusting. It's not like the colours are weird. I really liked it. The lilac on the back matched with, I love the like the little patterns on the front, obviously as well. Let me show you the front. And at the bottom, there's just like a, it's like a proper little jacket. And again, I was thinking to pair this with cycling shorts. Imagine on a nice little summer's day, cycling shorts, this white top. I love it. So yeah, I can't wait to get this on and you'll see it in the clip next to my head. But um, yeah, I just really like this. So yeah, this jacket was actually £25. Um, so I don't know. Is that cheap for a jacket? I'm not sure. Obviously, the vintage stuff. Sometimes if you're buying like designer, you can actually buy designer vintage stuff, which I'm really loving at the moment. Looking on the website, just loving it. The app, or should I say? I reckon it's quite cheap for this jacket. I think if you used to buy a windbreaker now, it would sort of be like £40. So 
there you go so that is all the items of my haul for the depop collection i really hope you enjoyed the video i really loved choosing loads of weird and funky stuff that i'd never really usually buy because i'm just a bit scared to wear them where i live um everyone's quite normal but yes i like wearing clothes out of my comfort zone um that's just the way i like to dress but yeah if you didn't like any of these items then obviously this this is not my everyday sort of fashion but if you did like them then definitely go and check out some of the um sellers on depop just type in vintage whatever you're looking for just type in vintage jacket vintage blouse that's what i found and I'm really happy with what I purchased. So if you did enjoy watching, please give it a like, give it a comment and subscribe to my channel. Also let me know down below if you like this type of video and the hauls that I sort of do because I really like buying clothes, showing you all. But that is all from me for today and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>